So we got a little 1500 point uh, battle that's going to be going on here with uh, my opponent doesn't want to be on YouTube, so he shall be known as the mysterious opponent. So for our deployment, we uh, we got the apocalypse-like deployment. I forget what it's called. Um, I think it's Vanguard Strike. And then we rolled for Big Guns Never Tire. So that's going to be interesting to play. We, we didn't, we forgot about the whole terrain setup thing, because this is only my second game of 6th edition. Uh, and we decided to just go with the thematic board anyway. So we set it up to look like this neat sort of oasis out in the middle of the desert. With a coffee cup. Okay, so here's my deployment. I've got Annihilation Barge, uh, ten Immortals led by a Cryptic, Harbinger of Destruction, three regular Destroyers, five Lich Guard with Hyperface Swords and Dispersion Shields led by a Warlord with Sepertinal Weave, a Phase Shifter, and a War Scythe. Um, another ten man squad of Warriors, a ten man squad of Warriors, both led by Harbingers of Destruction, a Doomsday Arc, and in reserve over there is a Doom Scythe ready to fly in and rain down on Holy Hell. So uh, he's doing his deployment for the Dark Eldar. Um, looks like he's got, what, two Raiders and a Ravager? Ravager, yep. Two Raiders and a Ravager. He's got some jet bikes. He's got some True Blood riding in these, what are these? Uh, Venoms. In these Venoms. He's got a Talos paint engine? Yep. Uh, and then these are what, Scourges? Yep. Okay, got some Scourges. The two squads of Witches with Homunculus riding in there. And then, is anything in the Ravager? or it, No, it doesn't transport, it's just vehicle. Okay. And that looks like just about it, so this should be interesting. This is it. So, just got through with my first turn. Um, he did not seize the initiative off me. Uh, I managed to blow up two of his jet bikes with the Doomsday Arc. And then I managed to Tesla three of his uh, Scourges, I think that's what they're called, um, with the uh, Annihilation Barge. The Eldritch Lances uh, hit and wounded and penetrated vehicles, but uh, he managed to make his cover and flicker field saves on everything. So that is where we are sitting at the moment, and he is about to do his first turn. Okay, so um, we just started uh, top of turn two. I'm about to do that. Uh, he managed to uh, wipe out my destroyers. With, uh, with some shots and with this jet bike going over it with his fancy Dark Eldar blade thingy. I can't remember what it's called. So he got first blood on that. He wiped out three, a bunch of my net immortals. There was a lot more dead, but I got my reconstruction protocols on half of them. But unfortunately, the cryptic, uh, he, he bit the dust, so I lost an Eldritch Lance there. And then he blasted the heck out of this Annihilation Barge and did Jack Diddley. So I got very lucky that the Dark Lances didn't uh, kill that. So now I'm going to uh, roll and see if my Doom Scythe comes in. All right, let's... Okay, it's what, three up now? Three up for Doom Scythe to come in from reserve. It's in! So uh, to my turn two, I managed to blast away the Scourges with the Doom Scythe with the Death Ray and Tesla Destructor. I did... Uh, Two wounds to the Talos. I managed to do some hull point damage to the Raider and the Ravager, and I blew up one of its Dark Lances. And then I managed, and then uh, the the Lich Guard and the uh, well, I really just the Overlord walked up to the Jet Bike in co close combat and just ripped him apart with a War Scythe. Oh, and also I blew up the uh, the True Blood's Venom. Is that what it was called? Mm -hmm. And now they're getting out of the crater. <laughs> so Walking it's his uh, it's his turn too. So. So, end of turn three. Oh, by the way, I have to see if my objective explodes. So, yeah. Nope. It does not explode. Good. You're good to go. Um, so, turn, end of turn three, uh, I shot a whole ton of his stuff. Doomsythe moved up and blew up the Ravager uh, and managed to uh, put a whole point down on the uh, Raider back there with the little neat fin. And then uh, all the other stuff just manages to put whole points down, immobilize the. Uh, the back raider. What what was it? The Doomsday Arc immobilized the back raider. Mm -hmm. Then the Eldritch Lance uh, blew up or wrecked the uh, the front raider. The uh, what else died? The Immortals got nothing. Pretty much the Talos just sat there and took all sorts of fire. Uh, so that's pretty yeah, much where we the stand. Talos pretty much just took fire. 
So that's where we stand, and uh, we're going into his turn three. Okay, so this was the uh, bottom of three for a uh, mysterious opponent. Um, he, uh, the Talos managed to finally take out the Annihilation Barge. So it, it is dead, finally. Uh, and then they tried to charge the Immortals, but they failed because they didn't get their distance. Uh, the Witches uh, charged the Lich Guard, who sent them packing. <laughs> Uh, one that they didn't do any wounds to the Lich Guard. I think they did one no, wound, and, and they just made their, yeah, saves. their saves. Yeah, they made their saves. Uh, so they're they're gonna come after them on this next turn. I'm gonna restart a uh, top of four, which uh, Doomside is about to go zooming out. So um, we found out that this new rule with the assaults states that if you assault a falling back unit, that they have to make a regroup test, and if they fail, they're just wiped. Of course, he did make his regroup test, and we both did a wound to each of the other, so we just tied uh, in the assault, so that's how that's going. Um, I shot these guys with the Doomsday Arc, managed to hurt them pretty bad, and then managed to pop off another dude with the uh, two lone immortals, which this seems to be coming after me at the bottom of turn four on his turn to wipe out these poor immortals that have, have just died left and right throughout this entire game. Then I've just still got these guys sitting on these objectives over here in the Doomsday Arc, just plugging away roll. at stuff. Oh, yes! I do need to roll to see if the objective explodes again. It does not! So, no exploding objectives. I, I swear, every game of 6th edition that I've played, which is all of 2 at this point, I've had exploding objectives on me. So not a lot happened in turn uh, bottom of turn 4. Uh, the Immortals finally bit it. They got, uh, they got killed. Uh, he unloaded a bunch of True Blood and charged them into the Lich Guard. The Lich Guard took some heavy hits. Heavy hits indeed. But the Overlord challenged a homunculus and, and slaughtered him. So now we're about to see if Night Fighting comes into play. It comes into play in what? A, uh... Uh, 4+. Plus. A 4+. Plus. Alright. Turn 5. No Night Fighting. Uh, so now we're about to start top of turn 5. And then is it at the end of turn 5 we, uh, roll to see if we continue? Alright. So, uh, and uh, beginning of turn five, uh, my turn, top, whatever you want to call it, um, the uh, Doomscythe blasted the heck out of the Talos. He took a death ray, didn't go down, but then he tesla him to death, uh, finally. Then the uh, Doomsday Arc over there sent a reeling shot that killed one lone true blood. <laughs> and then the, uh, the, the Necron Overlord challenged the... Uh, Homunculus. The Warlord Homunculus and took him down, so that's a that's a point for killing the Warlord. Uh, the Witch is also running away from the horribleness, but the Lich Guard have been slaughtered pretty horrible. There's only one of them left now, so we are now entering uh, bottom of five. So uh, we went ahead and called it at the end of turn five because uh, it was down to just uh, these this uh, what is it a Venom. Uh, these True Blood, and then uh, the Blue Lich Bloods, Guard, yeah. True Bloods, and, I, and the Overlord. And we calculated up the points. I got six uh, victory points over here from the two objectives. I got two victory points from killing his Talos and his Ravager. And then I got one victory point for killing his Homunculus. Uh, he got, uh, and also a victory point for uh, Line Breaker, which is that one where I'm in your deployment zone. Um, he got a point for killing my Annihilation Barge, and then he got a point for a First Blood. So, uh, that is 9 to 2. So, overall, a really fun game. I really love this terrain setup. It looks very, very nice. It's, it's pretty neat.